The latest scientific step towards the detection of tuberculosis is X-ray photography. Men on one day and women on another attend at the Ministry of Health building in London for an examination carried out by the Medical Research Council. There are some of the 12,000 people taking part in a mass radiography test. Chest measurements are taken and particulars recorded. Details of age, occupation and so on are also entered. The first chapter in the medical history of each individual case is being written. The callers are given an identity card which will be actually photographed with them. Each radiograph has its own number. The subject stands with head up tilted on a chin rest, chest flat against a polished square plate, takes a deep breath and holds it for two seconds. The 1500 pound apparatus which uses standard film like this is capable of photographing a hundred chests an hour. The twin processes of radiography and photography are thus linked together. The negative is developed in the ordinary way and the radio images of the contents of the chest projected onto a screen in a darkened room. A doctor watches carefully for any sign of disease. Out of every thousand cases tested, an average of three are discovered who would otherwise not have come for treatment until much later, perhaps too late. In this case, the visitor gets a clean certificate. Nine radio cameras have already been delivered by the ministry to local authorities and others are being manufactured at the rate of one a month.